Hi everyone, um, I'm here today to talk about my latest fun purchase and it is this, uh, let's wait for the light to sort it out, it is um, a wig by Hair Razors and it is this wig. Um, I bought this wig a couple of weeks ago, I've worn it a few times and I have to say it's really comfortable. Um, I bought this from a website I'm actually loath to recommend. I'm not going to say which website it was because they were awful. Um, I bought and paid for it and six days later, thinking where is it, um, hmm, I've already paid for this. I, e I had to email them and say um, I was expecting it three or four days ago, where is it? And they said oh sorry we're out of stock. So, hmm. I looked at your terms and conditions on your website and it said that when something is out of stock you put it on your website is out of stock so people don't order it. So the long and the short of the story is two weeks later I finally get this wig which I could have bought from somewhere else for the same price and had it beforehand. Um, but this, I, I actually went to have it fitted. If you want to know the full story I've written about it on my blog and I've got a few pictures and things on there as well. But I went to have it fitted and I tried on quite a few. Some were hilarious um, and I wish I'd taken some photos of those. Others, um, it was just kind of too much hair. Whereas this one is actually sort of quite fine. It's not sort of too wiggy. You know, whatever you want to call it from that. And there's, I had a, I've got a little brochure here of all the different ones they do. Um, and I tried on quite a few of them, but they just felt too big and too much hair. Um, but I settled on this one, it's called Holly, um, and this is a colour 1B. It's a synthetic wig, and um, which means it's actually easier to look after because it won't sort of split at the ends. It's quite easy to wash and dry. Um, I use an extension brush, this is one by... Um, Balmain, uh, which I had when I had extensions, um, and it's, all I can say is it's a bit weird wearing a wig. I quite like it. I've worn one for the whole day and the whole evening um, last Saturday, and it was quite comfortable. Towards the end, I started to get a little bit sort of itchy underneath. I just put my hair in a ponytail and sort of tuck it under, because my hair's kind of just a bit longer than this so if you have a lot of hair you might want to use something like um, that which is a wig cap and that's how it comes um, just a little it's just made of the same material as your tights um, and you pop it on your head and you can clip it down when I've worked in the theatre and we use these for putting people's wigs on we tend to pop those on and pop some clips in then put the wig in and clip those in too and that kind of keeps them in but those are normally quite heavy wigs this one is not very heavy at all saying that it does keep my head really warm um, and I just really like it I had to have the um, the front trimmed because when I got it it was down here and I couldn't actually see um, so when you get a wig when you go for your regular haircut take a take it with you, put it on, and they will actually trim it for you so that it's perfect every time you wear it. Um, all I tend to do is just give it a little brush um, and sort of sleek it down. You can see it doesn't, it doesn't really move, you don't have to worry about it flying off in the wind. I've driven in an open top sports car in this and it's been absolutely fine. Um, and I picked this particular wig because it looks like a wig. I don't think I'm trying to cover anything up. I w just wanted to have like a really fun hairstyle, which people won't think twice what they go, she's wearing a wig. And I've got enough confidence to go, yes, I'm wearing a wig and it's brilliant. I didn't have to do anything to my hair. It took me half the time to get ready. And at the end of the night, I can just take it off, brush it, put it away, and it will still be perfect. I don't have to use any products. I don't have to use any tools, nothing. And it just looks great every time. So my advice is if you're thinking about getting a wig, don't just buy one off the internet. Go to a proper um, store that will sit you down somewhere nice and private and give you enough time to try everything on. Because I did buy one from the internet that I thought would look perfect. I got it home and I looked like Dudley Moore. I looked ridiculous and I just giggled about it. So um, wigs aren't about covering up. Wigs are fun. 
Um, and I do love this one. Um, I'm particularly enamoured with the fringe, simply because as a kid I had a fringe like this. Um, and I couldn't have one like this now because my hair's not thick enough. Um, but I just, I just enjoy it. Out of all of them, it was the most fun, the sort of most stylish, the sort of easiest to look after. I don't really like layers and lots of hair. Um, so I just went for this. If I could, I would have my normal hair like this because I really like the style. So anyway, that was my whistle stop chat about my new wig. And you might see me wearing it in some of my videos. If I'm having a bad hair day, I can just put this on and it's all good. So wigs are good. Um, give them a try. This one, as I said, was called um, Holly and it's by Hair Razors. I think they have a website, but um, if you sort of search for it, have a look at their um, catalogue, pick one that you like the look of after having tried something on in a shop um, or uh, in, in, you know, in a shop, in a store, in a department or something. You can always find it online a bit cheaper than in stores. Um, or you can buy it there, and if there are hairdressers as well, they can trim it in for you too. So anyway, thanks for watching. Bye!